Cities are built of something that's far more important than steel and brick and stone. What holds a city together is a need which all men have. The need for living together with their fellow men, sharing their work, helping each other, enjoying their friendships and their companionship. And since people must depend upon one another, they have built up ways through the ages of getting along together. Our laws are one way of doing this. But just as important as laws are the rules and usages of courtesy and consideration, which we call good manners. They come naturally where people have a high regard for each other. We see good manners all every day, not only among adults, but among children too. Often they may not even realize that the consideration they're showing for others might be called good manners. Wherever you go, you'll always find that good manners keep things running smoothly. Paying attention to a neighbor's yard is good manners because it's considerate. So is going to the end of the line instead of trying to break into the middle. It's only fair to those who were there before you. Introductions are good manners because they're friendly and help people be at ease with each other. And good manners at the table make for a pleasant and comfortable meal. Such things as coming to the table with clean hands and face, passing food properly, and pleasant conversation make mealtime enjoyable for the whole family. Yes, you see good manners wherever there are people who respect each other and want to get along with others. Sometimes, though, you find a person like Mickey Taylor who has lost sight of the importance of good manners or who hasn't realized the values of consideration for others. Come in and say hello to Mrs. Norris. Letting the screen door slam, strewing his clothes about the kitchen, certainly isn't being considerate of his mother. I'll get him. Hello? Who? Karen? No, she's not in. The least he could do is offer to take a message. And what about the importance of good manners to guests of other members of the family? You remember Mrs. Norris, don't you? Oh, hello, Mickey. It's nice to see you again. Hello. It's time for one of Mickey's favorite programs, and he doesn't stop to think that the set may disturb his mother and her guest. It isn't that Mickey wants to be rude. He just hasn't stopped to think. to Mrs. Norris and me. Well, she made me miss my favorite program. You shouldn't have turned the set on in the first place. Honestly, Mickey, I don't know where your manners have gone to. Manners? Is that all you grown-ups ever think about? Yes, we do think about them, Mickey, because we've learned from experience that manners are important in helping people get along together. You'll never be happy with others until you learn to be considerate of them. I get along all right. Do you, Mickey? I wonder. Sure. Kids don't need manners. Manners are just for grown-ups. I think you're wrong about that. Someday you'll find it out. Oh, manners. Mickey's mother has given him something to think about. He hasn't gotten along too well with his friends lately, but... Oh, kids don't need manners. The next morning, Mickey has all but forgotten his talk with his mother, but something happens on the way to school to remind him of it. Mickey? 
Maybe I should have gone around, but, oh well, accidents will happen. And later on at the playground, Mickey sees the ball coming toward him, and he obeys a sudden impulse to get into a game he's not a part of. It starts an argument, and then the bell rings to break up the game. Gee, I didn't realize this was a class game. Just before lunch, Mickey gets a chance to learn what it's like when someone else's bad manners make him uncomfortable. And so Mickey has quite a lot to think about during lunch, especially when he suddenly realizes that he's sitting alone, and he begins to wonder whether the others may not be passing him by. Kids don't care about manners. I wish there wasn't any such thing as manners. Boy, if I were president, I'd put a stop to manners. That's what I'd do. I'd make a proclamation. It gives me great pleasure to sign this proclamation. With it, we are abolishing manners forever. In doing so, I am following the wish of children all over the nation, who I am sure have found manners no use at all, to them or to anyone else. Hello. 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 Mr. President. Yes? There's a big crowd of children outside. They demand to see you. Let them in. Let them all in. Gentlemen, the press conference is over. Thank you very much for coming. And you ladies. Just one more, Mr. President. Apologies, like other kinds of manners, takes practice. Maybe he will learn his lesson about the importance of good manners, or maybe he won't. It's pretty hard to tell. What do you think? And what do you think about manners in general? Do you think manners really start with consideration for others, which aren't really important in this modern day and age? Do you think boys need manners as much as girls do? There's a lot to think and talk about on the subject of manners, and many good reasons to ask, 
Are manners important?